here, here's the way that I'd like you to do this in your net. And this is perfect at 50% speed. You don't need to go full speed on this. The whole goal of training is to create a feel that will translate into speed later. So here's what we saw in your video. As you start to take the club back, you do a great job. And I actually really like the video you sent me of the close-up of your hands where you're trying to increase the, the lead hand flexion and the extension in your trail wrist. So continue to do that because that's a good thing. But here's what I was noticing is when you got to the top, you started to take the club down. You had your forward tilt here. And as you started to come down, you started to lose your tor uh, forward tilt. Club started to work its way over the top. And then by the time you got to impact, you were almost at a full vertical stand, stand up. So what I want you to feel is when you get to the top of the swing, same position as you were, you've got a 45 degree inclination to the ground. And as you start, I want you to feel the shoulders and the back, the, the middle of your back pointed at your net. And I want your lead arm to feel like it works straight down this way. And now at the same time, we can add the trail leg flexion in and that's going to get your body to go down and rotate and that's going to help you maintain this forward flexion all the way down into what we call position number six which is delivery right before impact so again we're going to go super slow-mo up to the top shoulders back pointed at your neck shoulders pointed down and just feel the lead arm coming down trail elbow coming into your side and then slowly add the flexion in the trail leg and that should put the club in a better position before impact and then shoot me another video through the, the v1 app all right buddy good luck with it